It was the end of a busy day. The engines had been working hard. They were feeling pleased and proud. Except Henry. He was feeling ill. What's the matter with you, Henry? Thomas asked. My boiler's grumbling. Maybe it's grumbling at you, teased Thomas. That's not funny, hissed Henry. You just don't care. But Emily saw that Henry was leaving a puddle of water behind. She was worried. The next morning, Sir Topham had arrived. Thomas, Percy, Henry, I want you to collect some freight cars and take them to the docks. Yes, sir, cried Thomas and Percy. Henry watched the engines puff away. He didn't feel well. Useful engines don't complain, Henry muttered. He was leaving water everywhere as he chuffed towards the coaling plant. When Emily saw this, she was more worried than ever. Then Thomas and Percy overtook Henry. Hurry up, Henry! Percy tooted. I can't go any faster, Henry chuffed miserably. You're just being lazy, teased Thomas. By the time Thomas and Percy reached the coaling plant, they had a naughty plan. Please, sir, said Thomas. Henry wants to take more freight cars. He is bigger, added Percy. The yard manager agreed. Meanwhile, Emily was talking to Sir Topham Hatt. I'm worried about Henry. Hmm, perhaps his tubes are leaking, replied Sir Topham Hatt. You'd better check. By the time Henry reached the coaling plant, Thomas and Percy had already left. Why did Thomas and Percy leave me so many freight cars, moaned Henry. They know I'm not feeling well. We'll still have to take them, said his driver. Henry chuffed and puffed and pulled his long line of freight cars. You can do it, Henry, encouraged his driver. But it was no use. Henry ground to a halt. Just then, Emily arrived. Are you all right, Henry? No, moaned Henry. I'm stuck. Henry's firemen uncoupled the heavy freight cars. Emily changed tracks and then hooked up to Henry. Oh, thank you, Emily, wished Henry. Emily and Henry puffed into the docks. Well done, Emily, said Sir Topham Hatt. Thank you, sir. Then he spoke to Henry. You were brave, Henry. You weren't well, but you still tried to pull the heavy freight cars. Thomas and Percy felt ashamed. We're sorry, Henry, said Thomas. We didn't think you were really sick, added Percy. Go back and collect Henry's freight cars, said Sir Topham Hatt sternly. Yes, sir, whispered Thomas. Soon Henry was mended and back at work. You're looking so much better, said Emily. Well, they mended my tubes, but they didn't even look at my brakes, my gauges, my squeaky wheels. Emily smiled. All in good time, Henry. Poor Henry.